This is Wayne Viner for Turp Talk. I'm here at the Baltimore Suns. Don Marcus. Boy, that was a tough game to watch. I wonder what it was like to play in it. What are your thoughts about last week? Well, I was in the Navy press box covering the uh, Navy Air Force game, so um, and my and my internet wasn't working great, so I didn't see a whole lot of it. So I, but I, it was uh, you know playing in it. I. Um, I can't imagine, uh, you know, it just, it just sounded, it seemed like, you know, at some point they just, not didn't give up, but it was just sort of a, a, a desperation situation. Uh, but, you know, I, I think that, you know, Randy said last week, I mean, one of the things I do agree with him last week is he said we ha they haven't done anything yet. They haven't proven themselves yet, and obviously they still haven't, but, you know, I, I think that that's just one game, and, and uh, it, I think more importantly, they got to win games they're supposed to win, uh, like Virginia and maybe even like uh, Wake Forest next week down there. Those are the more impo I think those are the more important games for this program to move in the right direction. Well, if you beat Virginia and you beat Wake, that's six, and that's the magic number. We're bowl-bound. So you could still get your goals. I think the goal was to get to a bowl game this year, and it looks like you can do it. Do you notice the team seems to me when you watch all these receivers, you got Diggs, you got Long, you got Malcolm Comer, you have people nobody's heard of, and they can really move it much more than I've seen before, yet we're still having trouble getting them the ball and getting big plays out of our big speed. Why do you think that is? Well, uh, you know, I think C.J. Brown is a very uh, good college quarterback, but he his strength, as everyone knows, is running the ball. It will be interesting to see if he can't play this week because of the concussion uh, with with uh, Caleb Brow, who is a more, much more of a drop back, you know, pure passer, whether they change the offense and really take advantage of those guys because I, you know, from what, again, they're going to have to protect him and that's, that could be an issue. But I think, I think they do need a guy who can get them the ball and I'm not quite sure, uh, in, especially uh, in terms of long, you know, playing a vertical game, I'm not sure that CJ has, you know, has that in him, you know, to do it con on a consistent basis. Well, you've got two teams that are coming in, which is Wake and Virginia. Boy, Virginia needs a win badly. They managed to lose at home to Ball State. And then Wake beat NC State. I'm not sure how that happened, but Maryland should have a chance to be favored in two games in a row. Uh, you seeing that six wins coming up here? Well, I think it's certainly, I mean, they're going to get, they're going to get six wins this year. They're going to go, I mean, or seven. I mean, I said at the beginning of the year or even during the summer that I saw this team with the schedule they had, where they were playing teams, when they were playing teams, I thought they were capable of seven or eight wins. Um, and, you know, ACC is not a, you know, a dominant league. We're not talking about the SEC here. Uh, we may not even be talking about the Big Ten. So they are going to get, they, they, they should be bowl eligible. It's a question of how far they can go with, with how many wins they can get. Uh, Zeke Reiser was inside talking about the fact that they still have a lot of their goals. They still feel like, like they can, if everything falls right, get to an ACC championship game. I'm not sure that's realistic. I think it's still on the table. Uh, but I think the Clemson game, even, even before they played Florida State, I made, a, I made a comment, sort of half-kiddingly, I said, I think the key to Florida State is coming out healthy enough to beat Clemson. And we'll see if that, you know, we'll see if they are healthy enough. I mean, I still think they do need C.J. Brown. I mean, given how well he played uh, last year against Clemson, you know, it certainly wasn't his fault they lost. So, uh, so I think that, you know, you know, they they will definitely get to six wins, and it it, it could be in the next couple of weeks.